Hey dearies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Deary and today I am going to show you how to make your sims go from this to this with G shade. So what you're going to do first is click the first link in my description box and go to the G shade website. I see they added one for Mac so let me know how that works if you're a Mac user but I have Windows so I'm going to download G shade for Windows. Once it's finished downloading just double click and open it up and then it'll tell you to select your language so go ahead and do that. Click I agree and to get to this page right here you'll go to browse find where your sims is located so mine is in local disk program files 86 go all the way to origin games the sims 4 game bin and then you would click the sims 4 icon right here and click open go to next i have 64 and you click direct x9 and install click next um, this is for your screenshots. Um, I think I put mine in documents, electronic arts in screenshots, finish. So you should be able to find G shade on your desktop. So just double click it and this little panel will open up, go to tools. And this is where you're going to have to convert your old reshades into G shades. So I'll try to explain that as best as I can. So go to your sims icon and click open file location, go to G shade presets and customs and this is where all of your old presets should be. Uh, you can make a new folder and just plop them in there so I'll do that so let's put it as presets. For instance I'm going to convert daisies by shady sims and put it there. Go back to tools and click launch converter, desktop, presets click OK and your preset conversion is complete after it's done converting you want to put this into your customs folder which I think I lied about the customs folder but it's fine but yeah so this will be into your game now so just go ahead and open sims okay so now that we're in a game you're probably like um your sim kind of looks all right without G shades or whatever that's because i have some lighting mods already installed into my mods folder so i'm going to share those so the first lighting mod i have is by lumia sims it's the no blue version 2 sim lighting mod replacement this just removes like the blue hue that's indoors and makes the game look a lot brighter and better in my opinion so that's the first one. The second one is also by Lumia Sims. It is, it is the No Glow, which I think it kind of does the same thing as No Blue, but it kind of brightens up your sim a little bit more indoors and outdoors. So those are the two in-game lighting mods I have. I also have, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I have by Simply Something, and it gives your sim like an inner glow. I have inner glow. There's also a bloom effect, but I have inner glow. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what i use for in-game lighting okay now onto g shades you will do shift f2 and you'll open up the little control panel and i'm using daisies by shady sims you can choose whatever you'd like but this is one i'm currently using and that i'm currently in love with mine is turned off so to turn it back on i'll click shift f3 and this is what my sims look like indoors i just think it's so pretty and so like well contrasted and it just it's really it gives a nice warm feeling i love it so much like everything is just it's just it's just so well blended together so this is what my sim looks like in cast and she is so pretty so cute and just so like just looks so good i don't know how to describe it and i just realized my mxao is off so to turn that back on you want to go to your game options here are my settings for my pc by the way everything is high very high or just whatever your computer can handle you know but to turn back that mxao you want to go to edge smoothing off just give it a minute it's gonna turn back on and my sim got some nice shading under her neck to her chin 
and it just looks so good and to give like an example of what mxao does this is it on right now and this is it off so it looks like very flat very plain but like when you add the mxao it just gives more depth to the sim and to the environment around the sim okay so now i'm back in game to show you what mxo does oh god so this is without it on and then this is with mxao on again so it gives like just a lot of more shading and depth to the environment and the area and the sim and everything so it doesn't look too crazy and too flat but yeah guys this is how you would make your sim game look like mine if that is what you want but you know it's fun to tweak and play around with stuff and see what you like but that's kind of like the basic gist of everything i know i'm not the best at explaining things but i did try my very very best so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye